promised me for uh, on this particular dance edition we are going to bring the one and only Aggie. I see the main man himself, uh, Morome, is in the building as well. He'll be coming on later. Uh, but before that, my people, we'll talk to you and then we'll talk to the main lady of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's up, everybody? Karibu Sana to the dance queen, Agi. Actually, it's Agi the dance queen, yes? yes mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Yeah. Karibu Sana. Mm -hmm. Sana. We're glad to have you here. My name is Joy Mochache. You can find me on Joy underscore Mochache. And as Barry said, this is Social Friday. We're going to be talking to a wonderful dancer over here who's going to teach us a couple of things about dancing. Don't forget. So, the moves yes the yeah. mo uh, we're also going to try a couple of moves and barry and i will see whether, whether we can dance so right. mm. <laughs> i'm but very competitive we, joy by the way we have to get into are. a competition I know you right. are. But, but we'll also add some fun to it so we'll have a blast and also remember you can watch us on dstv channel 376 yes we have gone international mm -hmm. and also find us on facebook that is y254 channel instagram it's y254 underscore channel on twitter that is y254 channel all right, so VDJ Khalifa, uh, you've been listening to the sounds of VDJ Khalifa himself. He's always a party starter. He's having a good time. How are you feeling, man? Never stop the music. Uh -huh. Number one. Oh, <laughs> never stop the music. Yeah, never right. stop the music. Let's go with someone who's going to be with you. I did. 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 I Four, I think, but maybe you can introduce yourself. Uh, no work credentials, Zako Zote is discussing. My name is Ake the Dance Queen, that's my stage name. Mm -hmm. I'm part of Sarakasi Dancers, mm -hmm. I'm a choreographer, mm -hmm. a trainer, mm -hmm. a Zumba instructor, mm -hmm. a mentor. Mm -hmm. And yes, all all round, yes. All round, yes. and so many other things. And so many other things that sit at Samaleo. Oh, at Samaleo. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> anyway, can we start again? It's a pleasure to meet you finally, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, some people claim that that dress is more popular than you are. Is it a dress or a jumpsuit? It's a jumpsuit. All right. Yes. Yeah, what do you say famous Kukushinda? Do you agree? Um... No, I don't. Because Kama Singe Iva, I kuwa famous, right? Uh -huh, yes. So we complimented each other. You complimented Me, each other. Me, Daniel, your dress, uh -huh. tukakuwa one thing. Tukakuwa mm, one thing. Tukakuwa perfect. All right. Speaking of that dress, uh -huh. speaking of that outfit, that jumpsuit, how come you didn't come with it today? You didn't want to grace our stage with it today? <sighs> Ama, it's just been brought up too many times. Yes, and I think it's, it's time now. It just took a rest. Okay. Okay. It took a rest. Because like there was that. even an animation yes. we were watching earlier on yes. that was wearing that exact uh -huh. outfit. Uh -huh. Yes, Fat Boy made that. Fat, Fat Boy made yes. that. What was your reaction when you first interacted with the animation? Um, well, the first time, me, ah, yes. I think the first time I met Fat Boy was way when we were doing the mentorship for Blaze. Uh -huh. And I used to see, I used to love his, the comic mm -hmm. part of this uh, one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, and when he sent me this, actually it's not him, it's someone who tagged me. Why uh -huh. did he exaggerate your legs like that? <laughs> well, animation, yes. That is what animation is all about. Yes. Oh my uh, gosh, her legs are so it exaggerated. Looks, it looks so nice because at least kids can relate to it. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's, it's a more fun way of showing Ex uh -huh. or expressing that, that dance. The but you want to put uh -huh. the outfit to rest? It has been to rest like since last year. Since mm. last year. I don't even, I can't even wait. All right. Mm. Yes. Have you got people asking you if, uh, if you can sell it to them? Or yes, a lot of people. Uh -huh. And I've sold a few to some people. But uh -huh. that outfit, mine is secretly hidden. That one I can't We are say. going to have it in a museum somewhere. <laughs> sometime soon after you're gone. <laughs> right. Hall of Fame. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, people don't know that you had to put school aside. And focus on dance, focus yes. on your dreams, focus on something that you love. True. How was this experience? How was it telling your parents first? Um, I'm, not, I'm not proud I did it, uh -huh. but I think my passion for dancing was way too much mm -hmm. than me reading or having to be in a lab because mm -hmm. that is what I was studying, mm -hmm. chemistry. So mm -hmm. I think those are two different fields. What can yeah. I yes, fields. So when I told my parents, they're like, ah. My friend, mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Like, you want to stop studying, you Bio pass to go, and then when I uh -huh. dance, my friend. Uh -huh. It was not like the easiest thing for me to do, mm -hmm. but eventually, I think my first breakthrough was when I went to Holland mm -hmm. for a, a dance exchange program. Mm -hmm. This was way before Short and Sweet? Yes, way uh -huh. before Short and Sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, 
uh, around three years ago. Mm -hmm. So my parents were like, mm, I'm a part of passport. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> dancing my lipa. <laughs> then they started seeing uh -huh. me in videos, mm -hmm. and every parent is like, Guy, to you want to talk about video? Hey, mm -hmm. now everyone wants to meet. <laughs> so, Mzazi and Afil, hey, to talk about what TV. This is like. So, people start believing yes. when they see you do, uh, doing things. When you start, people won't really believe in you. Exactly. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to tell you that dance doesn't pay, and they want to waste your life. Mm -hmm. But until they see the results, mm -hmm. until you stay there and persist and like mm -hmm. prove everyone wrong, mm -hmm. I think that is the only thing that you need to do. It's the, it's the only breakdown in your life. Always yes. stick to the vision, man. True. Stick and the to passion the vision. Is stick to the important. vision and the passion. Yes. I have to ask though, do you see yourself going back to do biochemistry or to finish? Ama, you've, you've found your niche now. Um, I will go back you to will? finish just oh, to that's have good. my certificate uh -huh. and my degree. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I don't think it's something that I would want to pursue. But right. it has helped me somehow in my dancing mm -hmm. because uh -huh. I get to understand my body more. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, because if you're told now stretch, you don't know what you're stretching. So biochemistry, somehow you get to learn more biology. The anatomy, yeah. The anatomy, the chemistry, it's put like it's so many things so you get to understand how your body works and which part you need to stretch which part you need to like tone mm -hmm. so for you to be fit so it, mm. it has really contributed mm. to my dancing Right. And that reaction from your parents was actually so normal because yes. I was actually expecting that because and I normally <laughs> ask a lot of guests here because when I see they're doing something that's not normally in the vision of Af African parents yes. for sometimes when happened got to years of to marry be a doctor be a lawyer yes. biochem the white the white collar jobs the well paid exactly. jobs mm -hmm. yeah. and they forget actually I think art is the highly exactly job. Yeah. 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 I yes. couldn't argue. There's mm. nothing. No, and it's, it's kazi apa Kenya, by the way. By the way, and uh -huh. it's the only place you feel comfortable. Like, you mm. can come to work. If uh -huh. you're a presenter, you can come to work. Dress the way you want. Uh -huh. You know, like, there's no that, that strict, mm -hmm. uh, like, client that you have to follow this. Mm -hmm. You have to be in a white. Do you want? Mm -hmm. Never, never, ever. You have to ever. wake up at this time every day. You wake routine. up because you want to do it. Uh -huh. Because yeah. it's something that brings you happiness. Because it, you love it. Yes. And you've been doing it for, what, six years yes, now? Yes, six years now. My God, and can I'm I ask? Loving every, did every you, day of the journey. And when you were, is it, is it something only foundation, or you just woke up one day, you found yourself with a talent, you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm actually good at moving. <laughs> I mean, because sometimes that, that's what happens. Yeah. You find yourself like, wow, I'm a really good dancer. Is that what happened with Jipata too? Hmm. No. I, it How did, did it go? Like How did it go? Um, I would say I started dancing way back when I was a small kid. Okay. Ile tu zile za church, unaenda munapiga choreo kidogo, kuna competition, unashinda. Yeah, but it's not something I knew I would want to do it. Mm -hmm. But um, when I was almost finishing my, my, my course in mm -hmm. Kenyatta University, mm -hmm. I was on long holiday and then I was like, ah, kwa ni na waste time? Sini mm. tu sarakasi, I'd seen them on TV. Yes. Yende tu sarakasi, ni waste or six months, then I go back. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know that was like the last time I would uh, say I'm wasting my 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 time because mm -hmm. that is where the change came in That's I went it there it was, it was so hard starting wow because um, the dance structure in Tarakas is totally different see the dance to ya kujibamba uh -huh. Dance has counts that people don't even know. Like the Those are the things to go to Ambia Sasa. Yes. When the music is playing, there's uh -huh. a certain count that is in the music. Yeah. Like buzz. Uh -huh. There's a way you need to count. In uh -huh. dancing, we count from one to eight. Right. You can't count one, oh, in music eight, as nine, well. ten, yeah. eleven. Uh -huh. No, there's nine. There's no that nine. It's one to eight. Uh -huh. And it keeps repeating itself. You can even do 24 counts of eight. It's on a mm -hmm. loop. Yes, yeah. it's on a loop. So to me, it was very hard because I couldn't even coordinate counting those counts. And I'm like, what? I uh, count until 15. No, it's not <laughs> like that. You have to go back, yeah? Uh, and then the muscles were so sore. Like every day you're doing something your body's not used to. Yeah, yeah. I think for the last, for the for six months, I used to like cry and even ask myself, what, what, what have I gotten do? myself yeah. into? Yes, so, but at the end of the day, because I had prayed about it and that, Ask God if you want me to be in this dance industry. There's something I'd, has, I'd ask Him to do, and eventually it may happen. So I said, "Fine." Unataka nika ya pa basinda ka. Yes, I nika vumilia kila kitu chungu and stuff, and I'm glad it's it really. So your body paid. actually gets that sore. Imagine even now, it does. It does. You haven't yes. got used to. I can't. I can't because. 
Killer wow. time, there's a different muscle you're working on. There's a uh -huh. different move right. mm -hmm. that your body is in a feeling a shake. Ay, it's not, yeah? Awesome. So it's not, your body doesn't get used to it, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm. The only thing that happens is you get to tone your muscles every time you do. A so dance. dance is like a fun way of working out? Yes, mm -hmm. actually dance is the best form of workout mm -hmm. because it works your whole body mm -hmm. mental physical because mm -hmm. you have to coordinate the, the emotional part the of it uh -huh. exactly isn't it something it's something all round and mm -hmm. to top it it's like uh you feel free mm -hmm. doing it because no one is really looking at you like strictly where a pana i part a pana no uh -huh. when you're doing it it's it's more fun it's and you, you putting uh -huh. yourself especially in it. when there's a mirror somewhere yes you and yourself. you feel like a diva you feel like oh my <laughs> god i want this one too uh -huh. yeah you feel dances. free yes. the words of Nijinsky. free can we be free yes <laughs> all right yes. we are going to be learning that move as well that's your signature move by the way um did you come up with that move that yes, one. that move we really <laughs> debated about it uh -huh. between me and my husband uh -huh. because he's yeah, she said the, one that you, husband, the one you were doing in the, the free for your shins. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Why were you debating that move? I because, actually watched it. Uh, because we, he really wanted something different and then I told him, no, let's just add something into this move. Mm -hmm. So it was it was very simple but mm -hmm. not catchy. So we had to like, ah, uh ah, -uh, uh -huh. okay. eventually we... Right. That is what we ended up with, and it's. The, I think it's a very nice and unique. Are you willing to teach us? Yes. Join her. Yes. All right, and then we'll compete. Join. I'm gonna again. We will see. We'll see. Hey. No, we <laughs> won't <laughs> compete. <laughs> we will not compete. For nothing. You can't yeah. dance Anyone can like dance. <laughs> Do you know that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. So I'm sorry, Kelly. You know, I'd like I'm to hear that because I've always had that interest. Yes. <laughs> as long as you have the interest, like in even if you describe at your CG what was painting, no, you, see, you start one, asking wait, yourself, What am I doing? That one is for oh. if you want to go professional, mm -hmm. if you want to do it for fun. I want to mm. learn how to dance, like for real. Mm. Yeah, then be ready to feel the pain. Be no ready pain, to feel no gain. Pain. If you can't yes. stand no the pain, heat, no get gain. Out of the but kitchen. I don't, <laughs> like in the, I don't, I'm not wishing to, to get to a professional level, <laughs> just you know. To, uh, to learn how to move the body. To no, learn how to move the body. Move, mm. move. Anyway, uh, you've been somewhere that I only <laughs> see on TV, man. Where? <laughs> Formula One. How did this happen? Um, <laughs> and where was this? Okay, Formula. It was in Bahrain. Uh -huh. um, we had initially done a project with that, uh, what, what can I call him? A promoter uh -huh. in France before. Mm -hmm. So he said, why don't you come and do this project for mm -hmm. us? And that is how I ended up doing for me. So you performed one. for the guys who came to yes. watch the, the yes. race. All right. The did place. you get to ride uh, in one of them? No, you can't because it's, it's, <laughs> it's a big place. Yeah, yeah. it's a big place. Uh -huh. You can only get in maybe and you make a candle, you just pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I hope no, I'll a jacket. Right? jacket <laughs> <laughs> mm. I like the jacket. Anyway, so uh, uh, there's another thing you did in Nigeria with the Phoenix. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we, we launched. Um, in Phoenix, uh -huh. not in Phoenix. Yes. Right. No. What is it called? Um, not in Phoenix. What's the name of this phone? It was a. It was a phone, like any. It was a phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. We did the launch. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and that was the first time I went to Nigeria. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. So endorsements have been coming. Yes, they have been coming. Uh, before short and sweet or after or even before short and even sweet. Even before short yeah, and sweet. Yeah, so that is where people don't understand. Uh -huh. There was Agi before short and sweet. Uh -huh. Agi has always been there. She has always been dancing mm -hmm. but for the short and sweet mm -hmm. i always say that was the right time for mm -hmm. people to know right. more of agi because i've done so many things i've mm -hmm. been in so many videos mm -hmm. maybe people see me and say they're like hey will let them a dance mm -hmm. but um short and sweet mm -hmm. came as a highlight right. of the whole agi as a brand mm -hmm. yes but Agi has been there. Agi has been there. Yes. So it Agi. takes, it takes, it's a process. Before you, you get your breakthrough, you have to go through things that you went through. Yes, before. we should not always wait to like, if you come in now, you want success now. No? Mm -hmm. You have to make it a journey so that when your success comes, mm -hmm. it becomes an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Other than it's, um, ah, who you are a part of because of this. Uh -huh. No, because it has to be a journey. You have to be able to tell people, this is where I started uh -huh. and this is where I am. Uh -huh. That is where I want to be. So All it right. has to be a journey. Mm. All right. And that journey, that journey seems like a, like a, actually a very interesting one. So a six years, of course, Agi was there before this whole yes. thing started. And um, 
I think when people are trying to make the music video for Short and Sweet, if I could just go back to that, yeah. there was an audition for yes, it here. Yes, and I can imagine when people see um, an audition for a Salty Soul video, I'm sure like half of Nairobi showed up. True. Yeah. Very true. And when I saw the actual video, I think there was what, six to eight people dancing? Yes, we were eight. Eight? Yes. Out of all those people. What, I wonder what it is that, um, what do you think it is that they saw that piqued the interest in you and your dance moves? <laughs> I actually don't know. Yeah, that's a tough I question. Always, it's a very tough question because I always wonder, we were so many. Yeah. First of all, let me just go back. When we had these auditions, mm -hmm. and hey, we were like, when? Tutaenda kweli? Mile dancers wengi watakuza. But when we went and we had the song, I'm like, these guys are not serious. This is uh -huh. the song they're doing. You know, it, it sings about Odi. I'm not used to Saudi soul singing about Odi. Uh -huh. So, and I'm not also used to doing Odi. Uh -huh. So to me, that was uh, something way out of my line of what I danced to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, we did auditions, I think, two times. Mm -hmm. We eventually passed and the choreography started, like process of choreography started. Mm -hmm. Right. But I think I always say it's about favor and it's about grace because mm -hmm. everyone is dancing. Everyone was giving their best in that video. And there were so many. And the, we were so many and mm -hmm. everyone has had a different part to play. Mm -hmm. But it's not the jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. It's not a mm -hmm. I call it favor. Favor. Yeah. Can, I add, can I add one more thing? Uh -huh. I also think timing. I also mm -hmm. think it was your time. Right. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it Ghost was just time. your time. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Wakati <laughs> wa <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hallelujah. It was your time. That's why it just happened that <laughs> yes. way. Yes. Yes. Uh, some things you can't question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just say thank you, God. All right. So sure. uh, you were asked uh, what your favorite dance is, and you said uh, Odi with swag. So Odi came to be your favorite dance. Fast forward a few moments later after yeah. you did the video. What is Odi with swag? First, Odi with swag is that short and sweet. All right, that yeah. is that Odi with swag. Yes. Where you turn around, uh -huh. you step, exactly. step and turn. Yes, uh -huh. that is the Odi with swag. That that step is very easy. Uh -huh. You know, I used to see guys dance to Odi because you used to do core captivations in schools. Uh -huh. I used to see them dance Odi and I'm like, why you dance me? Eco uh -huh. mm. So when you try it, you look so funny because uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's not something you're used to, and uh -huh. it's a certain. And then way people associate it with to. kids, yes. mostly also. Uh -huh. Yeah, and there's a certain way your body has to curve, <laughs> you know, the way you move. So it's like I don't know, it look funny. Uh -huh. So being a professional dancer uh -huh. and being given this, how can I call it, the easiest move, mm -hmm. it's always very hard to execute it because uh -huh. you're used to strict. Structures, uh, 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 but uh, if you're told now, should you do what? Uh, <laughs> you're like, guy, this thing is, is this? hard. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Odi with Swag is, is just that. It's mm -hmm. that, it's just this. <laughs> yes, you're just going this. to be that in a few <laughs> Yes, you try it. I'm going to try when I'm sitting. Mm. It's just this. See, you it's just this. <laughs> <laughs> it's very so, why to five four channel on Twitter, why to five four underscore channel on Instagram, and why to five four on Facebook is the way to reach us. So don't forget the hashtag Social Friday. Don't forget the hashtag Why in the Morning. Keep your questions coming. Your requests, direct them to VDJ. For your questions, direct them to Aggie, the dance queen. And you can find on Instagram as. I get the dance queen every social media. Every social media. Yes. Do you have a YouTube as well? Yes. Oh, I get the dance queen. I get the, the dance queen. What's the on your YouTube channel? I'm curious. My choreography. Your choreography. Uh, yes. Can I look uh, at your videos at home and teach myself how to dance? Uh, yes. Okay. But soon I'm starting my tutorials. Your tutorials. That's what on YouTube that. as well. Yes. Also, oh, those ones are not tutorials. Uh -huh. No, those are me just. Oh, just dancing. Just ah, okay. So but I have a few tutorials on YouTube. Okay. But cool. now I'm going into tutorials. All right. Interesting. Do Kenyans need to dance? Kenyans need to mm. dance. Mm. And we need to be fire. fit. And it's a, good way, it's a good way to keep fit because some of us Thank don't you. want to go to the gym, to be Thank honest. You. So yes. this is a fun way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we need to be fit as well. All right. So uh, um, we'll, we are going to be taking a break. But after, before we take a break, uh, Aggie, the dance industry in Kenya right now, being somebody who has traveled to Bahrain, Lagos, <laughs> Where else? <laughs> Netherlands. Uh, mm. uh, wh where do you place it? Um, I will say we are growing. Uh -huh, we're growing. Yes. We are not there yet, uh -huh. but definitely we'll get there. The whole uh, short and sweet mm -hmm. created so much buzz mm -hmm. and put dance in Kenya in a different mm -hmm. 
like perspective. Mm -hmm. Guys started appreciating dance. It might be they're appreciating the OD, mm -hmm. but now they know there's dancers in mm -hmm. videos, uh -huh. not just the musicians who sing, mm -hmm. because even the dancers, they compliment. The naked the women. Yeah. Not just the musicians and naked women. Yes, yeah, there's <laughs> so more to the visuals dancers. of the video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you get professional dancers, they make your video just awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Since it's Social Friday, I'd like to know how social media has impacted dance. Being somebody who has danced for a while, you've seen how social media has influenced dance because now we can, uh, somebody can be famous on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yes, so just tell me how social media has impacted dance and are you loving it? Um, let me say it has given me, me a mileage. Uh -huh. And every time I post a video, mm -hmm. I get so many reactions from people like, mm -hmm. oh, it's good. And of course, there are the critics. Mm -hmm. And every time. <laughs> you have those as yes, well? Yes, 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 I have. And I appreciate uh -huh. every feedback from each and everyone because mm -hmm. it's what makes me grow. Mm -hmm. If right now I do a free video and everyone is like, we've been waiting for this tutorial for quite mm -hmm. some time. And it, it creates the hype. Like, Everyone wants to do it. Even when the short and sweet came up, guys from Lagos, from France, they mm -hmm. were trying that dance. Mm -hmm. And they were like inboxing me, man, this is so hard. And mm -hmm. I explain it's not hard. This mm -hmm. is how you do it. Uh -huh. So the social media has really opened up mm -hmm. for dance to be known to mm -hmm. the world. Right. And, and I just wish we could keep, keep going. Keep and going. even dancers could post more on their Instagram or uh -huh. just... Any Let's platform. use the social media yes, tools to effectively yes. and we can take Kenyan dance moves uh, worldwide. We should have our own identity. Uh -huh. Yes, because Nigeria has theirs. Uh -huh. So why not? And they've us? had quite a number yes, and from time to time to time. Uh -huh. And it, I don't think uh, we're forgetting that Kenya has so many tribes that each tribe has a different dance. Mm -hmm. So what if we contemplate those dances and make them contemporary, kind uh -huh. of? We like infuse the modern aspect from the tradition and just make something. All right, yeah. mm. thank you very much. Odi with swag to the world. <laughs> we are going to make contemporary Kenyan dances uh, international as well. We're with Aggie the Dance Queen. You can find on Instagram as Aggie the Dance Queen. Uh, we are going to take a short break and then we'll be back with Aggie to show us some moves. Can you move? Don't touch that out. <laughs> mm.